Hello and welcome to Finnish with Anna. You'll learn Finnish here in short, palatable lessons with a native speaker. In this lesson, we're going to learn about an important issue in Finnish, formal and informal language. So, to put it shortly, there are actually two versions of Finnish. The formal Finnish, which is called kirjakieli in Finnish, and the informal Finnish, which is called puhekieli. Kirjakieli is used mostly in writing and informal situations, such as work-related letters, emails and documents, on most websites like cities, companies, online shops, portfolios and so forth, books, magazines, journals, school books, various documents, also in giving a speech, and in any other formal or official situations, such as in politics. In public, though, because behind closed doors, most politicians no doubt speak puhekieli. Puhekieli, then, is mostly used in speech. For example, when you speak with or send messages to your family and friends, in social media, but not always, quite a few people use kirjakieli in social media too. This has to do with wanting to appear smart and or credible. Usually when you speak at work, but in very formal or official situations, such as meeting someone important or in customer service, you would speak more formally. Note that Finns do actually mostly speak in puhekieli. Many people speak kirjakieli to foreigners trying to speak Finnish, though, because that's more understandable. And then, a few things to pay attention to. There may be more than one version of a word in puhekieli. So, kanssa, meaning with in English, can be either ka or kans. Äidin kanssa, meaning with mom, could be either mutsin ka or mutsin kans. This means that you may see and hear different variations of words in puhekieli. Also, Finland has many dialects which are usually geographically based, so people from the Oulu region speak differently than people from the Turku region, for example. These dialects differ from kirjakieli, sometimes even a lot, like in all languages. Dialects are not often used in writing either. Okay, so don't panic after hearing this. The form of Finnish that you learn in textbooks, courses and videos is kirjakieli. However, all Finns understand you when you use this form of Finnish. So please don't stress about learning puhekieli. In my opinion, it's only for the advanced learner of Finnish, and it's learned best by actually living in Finland. So then, I have some examples here of kirjakieli and puhekieli. Minä menen kotiin, meaning I'm going home, would be mä menen kotiin in puhekieli. Onko tuo sinun isäsi? Meaning, is that your dad? Would be, onks toi sun isä? Nähdään huomenna, meaning, see you tomorrow. Would be, nähä huomen. Haluatko kahvia ja kakkua? Meaning, do you want coffee and cake? Would be, haluuks kahvia ja kakkuu? So then, as you may have noticed here, words tend to get abbreviated and shortened in puhekieli. Suffixes may be left out entirely. So let's say these sentences. Minä menen kotiin. Mä menen kotiin. Onko tuo sinun isäsi? Onks toi sun isä? Nähdään huomenna. Nähä huomen. Haluatko kahvia ja kakkua?
Haluuks kahvi ja kakkuu? Good. And here are some more examples. Kuinka vanha sinä olet? Meaning, how old are you? Is, kui vanha sä oot? Numbers also change in puhekieli. Yksi, kaksi, kolme, neljä, viisi becomes yksi, kaksi, kolme, neljä, viisi. Kuusi, seitsemän, kahdeksan becomes kuusi, seitsemän, kahdeksan or kasi. Yhdeksän, kymmenen becomes ysi or yhdeksän. Kymppi or kymmene. Here you can actually see that the letter N at the end of several numbers can be included or left out in puhekieli. This has to do with the variations I mentioned earlier. Note that numbers may actually have more than one word in puhekieli. For example, when you count, you would say y k k n v k s e k s i y s i k y m p i so let's say this. Kuinka vanha sinä olet? Kui vanha sä oot? Yksi, kaksi, kolme, neljä, viisi. Yks, kaks, kolme, neljä, viis. Kuusi, seitsemän, kahdeksan. Kuus, seitsemä, kasi, kaheksa. Yhdeksän, kymmenen. Ysi, yhdeksän. Kymppi, kymmenen. And let's do these as well. Y, k, k, n, v, k, s, k, s, i, s, i, k, m, p, i. Great. And here are my last examples. First, personal pronouns. Mina, sina, han, me, te, he. Mä, sä, se, me, te, ne. Minä olen Anna, meaning I'm Anna. Mä oon Anna. Pekko puhuu englantia, meaning Pekko speaks English. Pekko puhuu englantia. Hänen äitinsä on lääkäri, meaning his or her mother is a doctor. Se äiti on lääkäri. Meidän luokkamme on todella kiva, meaning our class is really nice. Me luokka on tosi kiva. So let's say this. Minä, sinä, hän, me, te, he. Mä, sä, se, me, te, ne. Minä olen Anna. Mä oon Anna. Pekko puhuu englantia. Pekko puhuu englantia. Hänen äitinsä on lääkäri. Sen äiti on lääkäri. Meidän luokkamme on todella kiva. Meidän luokka on tosi kiva. Nice. So that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Kiitos kun katsoit. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And remember that I'm always open for suggestions on video topics. Thanks. Nähdään taas. See you again. 
Heippa!